Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at inelastic collisions, so let's get started. The first important thing to realise for inelastic collisions is that in an inelastic collision, momentum is conserved but kinetic energy is not, so there will be some kinetic energy lost during an inelastic collision. And an example of an inelastic collision is a dart striking a dartboard. So if you imagine throwing a dart at a dartboard, the dart is going to be moving and it's going to hit the stationary dartboard. And we're saying that the momentum is going to be conserved before and after the interaction, but some kinetic energy in the interaction is going to be lost. And that's because the dart will have lots of kinetic energy to begin with when it's moving towards the dartboard, but because the dartboard is stationary, all of the kinetic energy will be transferred to the dartboard, but if it's fixed against a the wall, then it's not going to move. But if the dartboard was instead, say, hanging from the ceiling, then we might expect it to swing back and forth a wee bit because of the kinetic energy that has been transferred from the dart. But where is some of that kinetic energy going? Well, it says here that some of the kinetic energy is converted to heat and sound upon impact. And below here, you'll see a typical picture of an inelastic collision that you will see in higher physics. So it says here to note that an inelastic collision usually involves two objects locking together and moving off at the same velocity after impact, a bit like in this picture here. And I'm just going to show you a quick animation of this situation. So here we have two one kilogram trolleys and the one on the left hand side is going to move towards the one on the right hand side. And this one over here is going to remain stationary. So what we can see here, is that both objects lock together and move off at the same velocity and the trolley on the right hand side was initially stationary. So in this type of interaction there will be some kinetic energy lost but momentum is conserved. However, if we look back at the notes it says that however, the objects do not need to lock together for the collision to be inelastic as long as some kinetic energy has been lost during the interaction. But more often than not you will see the two objects locking together for an inelastic collision. So there's just a picture representation of an inelastic collision where the two objects lock together. So we've got a 1000 kilogram trolley and a 1200 kilogram trolley and the first one is moving at 11 meters per second. So we can sketch what happens before the collision and then what happens after the collision. And you'll see that we've got V equals question mark because often you'll be asked to work out what the velocity of the two objects are after the collision. So we could use the principle of conservation of momentum in symbol form to try and work this out. And sketching the situation of what's going on before the collision and after the collision is going to be very useful for you when you're doing problems. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.